Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.4 Beta 1 to developers and public beta testers. This came in at a very large 2.19 gigabytes, and that's pretty typical when you're going from a standard public release 11.3 to a beta or back and forth. The next beta I would expect to be smaller. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15F5037C, and that C is interesting because it denotes the finality of when this comes out. So once we're at a, we're closer to a final release and we should see it released to the public usually in four or five, or in this case, the previous one, six betas. Now I'm installing it on my iPhone seven plus a lot of you have asked me to test it out there and test it out on an iPad. So we'll do that and report back to you after I've used it for a few days on things like battery, things like that. But there are three major updates in this. One of them you can't see, and that has to do with class kit. So last week when they announced this iPad, they also announced class kit and all sorts of new infrastructure, basically for teachers and education students, things like that, so that you can actually have better classroom management mobile device management, all sorts of those things. And they should be baked into this beta. At least that's what Apple said would be coming with 11.4. They've also included airplay too. Now this doesn't work for me actually right now because I only have one home pod, but there is support for multiple home pods finally in this. So if you go home and you have multiple home pods, you'll be able to pair them and put them in stereo. Now the update for the home pod is not out yet, so you actually can't get that to work, but it's built into this beta. So that's good news. We're seeing that move forward. And the one big thing many of us have been waiting for is messages in iCloud. Why this has taken so long, I'm not sure, but if you go into settings, then you go to your iCloud settings, you'll see there's messages. And if I go to messages, this doesn't work for me for some reason. You'll see it says messages in iCloud is not available because iCloud and iMessage accounts are different. This worked for me in previous betas and the accounts are not different. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but unfortunately it's not working for me yet. Now the speed of it seems to be okay. Scrolling is smooth, 3D touch is smooth. Uh, different apps and the iTunes store so far have been smooth, but it may take a few days to find any bugs, see if anything crashes. I did do a Geekbench, so let's take a look at that. And we'll see here now, originally I ran this and it was lower than this. So right now we've got 4,168 and 10,023 from multi-core. When I ran this a little bit earlier, I got lower scores. And so I let it cool down again, maybe do some background processes and I was able to get a higher score, but you can see overall, it's pretty consistent with iOS 11.3 and its previous betas. And it feels pretty fast so far. There's not much more to talk about. As far as that goes, nothing could be found throughout the OS. I wasn't able to find anything. I looked and looked and there's just nothing in here. I can't find anything as far as that goes. But as soon as I find something else, or if I do find something else or the next beta comes out, I'll be sure to let you know. And I'll do a follow up, like I said, reporting on battery is that usually takes a few days to know that for sure. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description. Like I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.